guys welcome back to the channel it's Trey and we're going to be reviewing talking about the horseman welcome to forest park um you know animated trailer and book that um ripperverse has announced what well, early this week um i'm sorry i didn't get a chance to do a better reaction um an earlier reaction in the day but you you guys already know busy with work um so we're gonna do it right now. Um, I'm kind of excited because, I mean, the Horseman does look like an interesting character, honestly, and it's gonna be written by Chuck Dixon. When has that man never um, written anything amazing? You get what I'm saying? So I'm excited to see it. I can't wait. Um, hopefully, this will be really cool, um, and I can't wait to get the book when it comes out. Okay. All right. Let's see. This character might be the second most anticipated character next to Yara, who is the first anticipated character, which I can't wait for Yara number two. The Sasuke sisters did say that they are working on a number two, and I need that thing ASAP because I just love the world that they created for Yara, so I can't wait. And um, I think Chuck Dixon and them said that they're working on Alpha Core number two as well, so we'll see. That's really unique. Okay. Who the hell is this guy? What's he want? Where's he come from? After every soldier I have with him and he kicks their ass. Away clean. That's really cool. With my money. That looked like a a nasty kingpin. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like um um, he looks like the in between of the '90s kingpin and the um. The Spider Verse Miles Morales um movie Kingpin, he looks like the in between of that. Like it's an evolution to that. <laughs> um, that that fight choreography was really cool, honestly. Um, especially for an indie studio, like that is really cool, honestly. I was getting, I was getting Batman and Punisher vibes all at once. Now what are y'all gonna do about that? Turn us loose, Tuna. Let us do what we do. Oh, his name is Tuna. Ooh, four unique covers. Mm, T-shirts and a poster. Okay. All right. Um, I believe so far it sold over 5,000 um, total sales so far, If if my math is... Correct. I haven't really been able to keep up to date with everything, but um, I need to pre-order it. Um, I'm probably going to do it um, when I get paid um, on Friday. Um, so that'll be something because I wasn't able to do it because Eric liked to release his books on, on the days that I ain't got paid yet. And I'm like, bro, you got one more time. He keep doing this to me all the time. Like Every time he releases a book is when I haven't got paid yet. <laughs> What's up, Ripperverse family? Oh, Steve Hay okay. here, and I'll be voicing the Horseman for the upcoming Ripperverse animations. That's right. Look, this That's is a completely cool. independent venture, and we want to see it through. Okay, well-produced, solid Western animation desperately needs to return to form. Definitely need it. The Ripperverse has a team that's prepared to consistently release episodic content. They are prepared. The Horseman would be a great start. So please help us 
make it happen. Head over to ripaverse.com and become a member for as little as $5. Appreciate you. Hey guys, I'm Eric. Ain't that really cool? They got Dean Cain, the voice, the horseman, and he's going to be doing an animated series um with featuring the horseman um and then i hope after that we'll we'll move over to my girl yara I, i'm just saying i'm just saying i don't care what none of y'all say yep i like my yara so so what <laughs> um i can't help it um but that's really cool though like they're going to do they're going to do an animated series or whatever um i wonder like is they're going to animate the comic book or is this going to be like things that are like that happen in between moments in the comic books or whatever that'll be really cool and it's kind of crazy because it's it's interesting because you know eric july is um is such an independent that it's like damn they they about to start an entire animated series um you know by themselves without like hollywood help or you know what i mean because there's a lot that goes into animation and, I, and honestly i would love um i would love for the reverse to look um like the dc animated cartoons you know what i'm saying like if you if you know if you guys know you know you know what i mean like i'm talking about that kind of vibe like i would love to see the animation quality get better like that and i'm quite sure reverse is working on stuff like that could like could you imagine the horseman actually looking like oh my god TV quality to the point where um if they ever finish the an entire um series you know Eric can like release it for us to buy on um on Blu-ray or uh, in DVD or whatever and I'm quite sure people will buy it that'll be really that'll be really cool you know what I mean I don't know I'm just saying um let's see what else he's talking about. The founder and owner of the Ripperverse, and now the Horsemen Welcome to Floors Park by Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett is up for pre order. This is one of our most highly anticipated comic books, and I know you're going to enjoy it. But not only did the animation you just watched serve as the trailer for the book, it also is the pilot. Let me take some time to explain. We've done several animated trailers since the launch of Ripperverse Studios. During that period of time, we were familiarizing ourselves with the industry while also building our creative team. Our animations consistently improved and we now believe that we have the foundation to take things to the next level. Simply put, we want to have an animated universe with long form content. This animated universe will not simply exist on its own. It'd be an extension of the comics with accurate adaptations specifically made to fit the animated format but this isn't a pilot meant to see that's what that's what i'm talking about so we finally getting like adaptations that are like accurate and true to the characters like don't get me wrong i love the dc animated universe but even they took liberties with a lot of things with the characters as well but in a more respectful way nowadays if they did it today they would completely bastardize the adaptation of the characters um i think that that's kind of what gets lost in translation it's like i understand we want to like do adaptations but it would be nice sometimes to see these classic um dc and marvel storylines being in in animated form you know what i mean um that's what made the dc universe the not the the the, the dc animated original universe movies um amazing because they would literally adapt the comic book into animated form that's what i want to see and i think um and i think we need more of that again um and it look like eric is going to do that with his comic books um with you know his animations that he's going to do which is really cool honestly so i can't wait to see shop this around in hopes that some mega corporation will pay us to pick it up and then you know run it into the ground this is more of a proof of concept for the audience in hopes that you like what you see so we can do this independently as you see our quality is top notch and if we have the time and resources to produce we can create awesome competitive content for your enjoyment horseman would be a great starting point voiced by the legendary dean kane that said animation is much different from comics when it comes to production it takes a bigger team to produce and of course it's far more expensive and getting a financial return from it is a different animal especially in this digital age with a comic we can create and sell the physical copies which dominate the market with animated content it's far more 
more difficult to get that return. You'd have to invest a lot in it before you ever have a chance to make that money back. That's why it's far more attractive for people to sell off the rights to a big studio. Doing that is a lot less risky and of course they'll just pay you. But here's our plan and pitch. Our long-term goal is to house long-form content on our membership platform at Ripperverse.com. Basically, it'll have a streaming service element. Eventually, once we can justify it, certain works would be distributed on other platforms with hard copies such as Blu-ray. If we ever hit 5,000 oh. paid members of any- He um, actually was thinking about that, so that's really cool. So the animation stuff, whatever, be streamed online for- I mean, online on his website, and if you're a member, you can look at it or whatever, which is which is really cool. Um, so that'll be nice, just really to really see. Um, I think that's a great idea because even if a lot of us aren't members or whatever, but if a lot of people support it early on or whatever, to the point where they can mass produce this into like, okay, we can make Blu-rays, DVDs, or whatever. Hex, yeah, that would be really cool. I'd definitely buy that. You know what I mean? Any kind, we'd finish episode number one. Oh, you know what they should do too? Um, since people also like the horsemen, um, I would also work with um McFarlane toys again and do maybe a horseman statue. It's just not as expensive as Yara. <laughs> of the horseman it have at least a 10 minute runtime we'd release that on our social media platform so most people can view it in hopes that it would invite newbies to become members once we hit 10,000 total members we commit to completing the first season of the horseman which would be housed exclusively on our platform right now the comics and merchandise pay for the comic books that'll always remain our primary focus the memberships which come with awesome perks we hope to be what funds Ripperverse Studios projects. I love to keep our animators busy and build Ripperverse Studios to be the next big indie producer. So head over to Ripperverse.com and become a paid member if you want to support this plan. Perks right now include merch and shipping discounts, but we're also doing a membership overhaul. Soon, we will be adding forums so you can nerd out with the fandom. We'll also do plenty of member-only content and streams so we can let you in on the process creatively. The list of perks will continue to grow. So please share this video out to all of your friends and family and become a member over at Ripperverse.com and go pre-order The Horseman, Welcome to Flores Park by Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett. That was really cool. Um, this is how you should do it, um, fellow indie creators. Um, especially like if you have a platform or whatever, grow it, grow your audience, um, collab with some people, do something like what Eric July is doing. I know a lot of people might try to hate on him or whatever, or think he's doing too much. But if you ask me, I think this is really cool because he's really trying to do something. You get what I'm saying? He's really trying to put his money where his mouth is. I would love to see more content creators, you know, go on YouTube um, or whatever and you know just kind of like maybe if you can commission somebody to do something or you try to do something or whatever but you need this kind of enthusiasm you need this kind of trailer to kind of show off your characters your world or whatever because even though there are a lot of indie creators that are doing something um a lot of them get kind of wait fall by the wayside because i know a lot of them refuse to even particulate in social media and if their social media is is like it's more like high and by kind of thing you know what i'm saying um there's barely no videos or updates or anything there's no like even showing the process of how the comic book is made no q a or whatever a lot of these uh, a lot of these indie creators that i've seen that i've been interested in um or with their books or whatever they don't really interact with people hardly and then there's really no updates on anything hardly so it makes you be like well come on like how can somebody support you if you're not even doing something you know what i mean at least with eric 
is constantly it's constant updates or something like that. And don't get me wrong, there are other ones who do that. I'm just saying because right now I'm watching this, which I think is still good. I think it's a good idea, you know. Um, you know, right now, Trey can't can't afford to be joining no membership for nobody right now because I'm already buying these books, supporting that as well. Um, that is my that is my little deed or whatever because um. I still work a whole 12 hour shift and let's be honest, I am not getting paid like that <laughs> to be able to be like, oh yeah, let me go ahead and, and join membership stuff. Oh no, I'm already, I'm already doing membership crap with, um, <laughs> the, um, the streaming services that I really don't want, but because my grandma is watching and she watches all of them. <laughs> that's the only reason why I got them got the streaming services anyway but um, this is really a good idea I really think people I really think that this is something that people need to learn especially DC and Marvel like, this is how you do a trailer um, not the whole half motion comics thing Yeah, I want the writer to really be excited um, don't talk about stupid nonsense you see like when Eric talked about the characters he didn't talk about oh yeah you know this character is white and he's straight and you know we just wanted to kind of um, get the modern audience or whatever. No, bump all of that. Just tell the damn story and just make sure it's good. That's what you should be doing and getting people excited, not turning them off with the nonsense. You know, I think this was overall a great, um, a great trailer, a great idea. Honestly, um, I think Eric did a good job with the unique covers for, um, I mean, the, the promotional for the horsemen. I will be ordering it when I get a chance. I'm definitely going for some of them t shirts and a poster. Let's see which cover I want. I probably, probably either it's between A or D cover because definitely those probably the two that I want anyway. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.